Welcome back, episode 373, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk Radio Show. I go by the name of Roscoe English, and of course, I'm here with the flock. Got my guy Keys with me. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling out there? My man, Nick. Final four. And of course, last but not least, Keith PJ. Let's go. Welcome back, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I was down bad. Appreciate y'all for checking up on me. Everybody that was checking up on me, I appreciate you. You know, it's a conspiracy theory going out. What's the theory? Talk to me before we get into the weekend. <laughs> they just saying you disappeared after that. After you talked all that, all that talk about going into Buffalo and winning. <laughs> um, you let let me speak my piece. I, I I wasn't here. Um, we went into the fourth quarter down one score with Mason fucking Rudolph. <laughs> you pretty good. So, so, I mean, so that, so that means so that mean you had a chance to win the game, right? We had a chance to win the fucking game so, with three. So what, happened, what happened to the Cincinnati going to the game once? We see how that works, see how you be changing that is. But that's, I got you. Talk to me. What, 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 what narrative about Cincinnati? What about Cincinnati? Remember, remember Did they make the playoffs? No, remember y'all was, uh, Cincinnati, <laughs> yeah. was down, Cincinnati was down in one score. And you don't a regular season. You was like, no, I, the game was never that close. But it's, I, I feel you. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, that you game know. wasn't. But this Buffalo game, it was. Three turnovers and we down one score on the road with Mason Rudolph going into the fourth quarter. Tell your boy Pickens stop fumbling the ball, man. I, Pickens, Pat, Mason wanted to be Mason in the end zone. Look, look, you know, you know. But if it was a conspiracy theory, I damn sure wouldn't have showed up <laughs> AFC Championship weekend <laughs> to talk about this shit. I definitely would have just skipped this shit. You, you may have. Came you, want, back you, and want that, you want that bad juju on us. I would have came back and talked about Jackson Holiday being number one in the pipeline, you know, or some shit like that. Not, not this. But we are here championship weekend. Got the Chiefs coming into the bank. Take on the Ravens. Ravens all four point favorite. We got Pat. We got Lamar. We got Taylor Swift. We got a lot going on. The floor is y'all's. Yeah. How man. was this game going to play out? Big weekend. Big, big, big weekend for the Ravens. Um, we talked about it when we recapped the last game. First, uh, first, you know, AFC Championship game here. Well, for the Ravens anyway. Um, here the Colts they talking about nineteen, whatever it was. Who cares? You know. Um, but Ravens first. first AFC Championship game here. We like said you you when you we talked about a football player, you, you this is why you play for the number one seed. You got it. You got a chance to protect home field and you in the Super Bowl. Um, it's not going to be easy, you know. It's Pat Mahomes. It, it, I think when everybody we talk about Pat Mahomes, we talk about the greatest quarterback that we've all, all us four have all seen with our own eyes. Um, he's that guy. Um, he can single handedly win this game, you know, if he catch fire. Um, but it's a, it's a little bit of different Chiefs teams in the last year. Um, I'm not gonna say like the Ravens are taking me easy or nothing like that, but if this out of the last six years they've been to AFC Championship game, if you wanted to play a Chiefs team, this this would be that team. Um, the previous teams that you know with Tyreek Hill, they were just complete juggernauts. Um, but like I said, it's it's, it's still Pat Mahomes, it's still Andy Reid. Um, that that defense is much better. Um, you know, even though even you no know, even though watching the film this week, you know, you 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 can get them in the flats. Um, you know, you you sneak on follow around the number one receiver. So once that happens, once he follow around Zay, you know the rest of the secondary is not as strong. You you can take advantage of that. Um, I mean, I, I think that you know, I think Lamar gonna show off. I, I I think that you know this this they showed last week, Buffalo showed last week that you can run on his defense, you can expose his defense a little bit, and I think Monkton just gonna expand on that. Uh, big big, we talked about it, and, and also to the uh, lead up to this, you know, them them not having Thune is gonna be big. Um, that's a, a big they, he's inside or whatever you know matabuke had a great season so if they, he get one-on-one with the replacement you know it, it it might be scary times for them um talked about all, defensively you you're not gonna be the blitz mahomes you're gonna have to get to him before which teams have been doing this year they have been getting home against for that that offense line is not as strong as it has been um outside of creed and theory um and, and like i said theory is not gonna be there um you gotta get four you gotta you go ahead and play coverage um, you you know you if you bring an extra man he's going to beat you he's done it his whole career that's who he is he can read any he can read the blitz better any quarterback I've ever seen um, so you you know I know Mike does a great job of disguising his blitz but it's Pat Mahomes man you got really be, be really really be strategic when you blitzing and who you bring in um, because he's seen them corner blitzes like them corner blitzes that 
CJ Stroud was missing, Mahomes ain't missing those. You know, that that's not gonna happen. It's just, it's just not gonna be there for um so I think the game plan to be different defensively. But um, like I said, this if you wanted to play a Chiefs team of all them Chiefs teams, this would be the year you get. It. We I've been saying all year, I'm not gonna go back on that. They don't have enough offensively. Um, they don't. So you take away Kelsey, um, you you know, you play the type of run defense you played last week, you you got you got a great chance to win this game. And like you said, that the crowd is gonna be a big factor. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. should be a bigger game. But I I look for Lamar on the offense to show up against this defense um they have been good all year but the tape they they beatable um in the flats you know they 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 bat they they not a really a good defensive screen team they don't defend the screen very well and they play a lot of zone so it's a lot of holes in that defense yeah i mean i'm on record as saying this game is the super bowl in my opinion obviously anything can happen on a neutral field but you as a ravens fan probably as a ravens player as well you know, you look at this game as a, we can get over this hump. We can get over this mental uh, hump as well. You know, smooth sailing as far as uh, liking our chances, at least. Obviously, you still got to play another game, but we like your chances against the Lions. You like your chances against the 49ers because you've had success uh, against them recently. The thing about the Chiefs is uh, we've had some back and forth battles in the past, and we know what that man Mahomes can do regardless of how he plays for, you know, most of the game, that fourth quarter, he usually comes and he fights and you're going to have to, you're going to have to get him down and hold him down. You know what I mean? It's not going to be easy. Even no matter what the score is, it's going to be a challenging, challenging game. But uh, yeah, Key's made some great points. I wanted to mention also uh, the Chiefs, uh, when they come out in heavy looks and 13 per, uh, personnel last week against Buffalo, they averaged almost nine yards a play. So, you know, with those three tight ends on the field, those heavy looks, running the ball with Pacheco, uh, play action to the tight ends as well. Uh, it's going to be something that's going to be a challenge for the Raiders because historically and spe specifically this year, we have haven't done the best against uh, heavy boxes. We've, we've done most of our damage against light boxes. Um, and the stats show that. I mean, uh, you know, we've struggled defending offenses in 12 and 13 personnel, ranking 19 and expected uh, points per play. So, you know, that's not the greatest. But, you know, we also have some players coming back from injury. We have Marlon. I think we probably put him in the slot. Um, we have, uh, you know, just that confidence last week of being able to shut down the, uh, an explosive offense. And, and Mike McDonald as well, as far as the way he schemes and prepares for games, each game plan is different. So we're going to throw some things at them that they might not be ready for. So that's a feather in our cap as well. And then Keys mentioned Joe Thune is going to be out too. So that's going to be something that they're going to have to uh, account for. And it might affect the way um, the, 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 the effectiveness in their run game as well. Me personally, I don't mind letting Pacheco get off a little bit. Uh, I'd, I'd rather drop people in coverage and make it harder on Mahomes. I don't think Pacheco alone is beating the Baltimore Ravens. You can't beat us at running the ball. <laughs> if this is a run the ball contest, we're going to get you the fuck out of here. So if you want to go with that route, that plays in our hands. Um, but as far as as far as the Ravens are concerned, man, offensively, I think that, you know, we're going to have to just I, the Chiefs blitz a lot. They blitz about 33 mm percent -hmm. of their opponents drop backs in the regular season, which is was the seventh highest rate in the league. So they're going to come after us. And, they're, and, and, and contrary to Bill Polian and other folk um, blitzing Lamar. It's probably the best bet, but we showed last week that uh, we're a versatile offense. We've grown since the Greg Roman days, right? <laughs> like it, you try to blitz us. Cool. Like we're going to combat that with quick passing. We're going to combat that with design runs, because if we can get past that blitz, if Lamar can get past that blitz, oh, the second level is open <laughs> and you don't want him in the second level. You know what he does at the second level. So, you know, that's going to be key for us. You know how our tackles play. Ronnie Stanley had a great game last week. I wanted to shout him out because, you know, he's been under scrutiny by a lot of folk, including myself. And, you know, come playoff time, he was a rock. And that's all you want him to be is just be a rock. Just don't be on the ground. <laughs> you know, don't be getting pancake. You know, don't get blocked into Lamar. Be a rock. And that's exactly what he was last week. And we're going to need more of that. Um, we're going to need more of that on the right side as well. We're going to have to keep uh, Lamar upright, have him uh, be able to see the field, have him be able to see the opportunities. The Chiefs secondary they're not any slouchers either. You know, McDuffie and Snead, like they are playmakers on that other side of the football. So we're going to have to just play a smart, clean game. I really honestly take my Ravens bias out of it. If we play a smart, clean game, we minimize the penalties, you know, little to no turnovers, no short fields from Mahomes, 
it is really hard to beat us if we don't beat ourselves. The, the few times we've lost this season is when we beat ourselves and made mistakes. If we play a clean football game, it's hard to run stop us from running the football. I haven't seen anybody do it yet this year. It's hard to stop us from throwing the football. Now, obviously, you know, that is something that teams can do different things and, and show different looks to maybe challenge us on that side of it. But, you know, Zay Flowers gets open way too much for that to be something where I'm not confident about. Us running in 12 personnel with two tight ends, it's going to be hard to stop a hot likely who's had six touchdowns in the last seven games. And it's going to be hard to stop Mark Andrews, who – has seemingly healed quite well from his fibula injury. And, you know, he's an all pro, you know what I mean? And then you get the play action off of that. You run the ball off out the, uh, the 12 personnel and you do the play action with the tight ends. And then you got Odell who can get open, you know, and find creases as a veteran. Then you got Bateman who's forgotten about that can give you that speed and give you that pedigree. You got Nelson Aguilar can go out in the route. Then you can throw it to the running backs. Justin Hill has been balling. Like, yo, we got so many weapons and ways in which to beat you. And you got Todd Monken up there that's not afraid to switch things up when he needs to. So long story short, we're the better team. I think Mahomes has to be given his respect and his and, and you have to fear him because he's earned that. Mm -hmm. But at the same token, it's a football's a team game. And we can make it so that one person doesn't beat us. I like our chances a whole lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I mean, just briefly talking about Patrick Mahomes, I mean, you're talking about somebody who's 13 and three in a postseason, so you know what comes with that. Um, but I think you just alluded to it, Nick, as far as the run game. If you look back, dating back to 2019, we've averaged nearly 35 rush attempts, 191 rushing yards, and five and a half yards per carry. Um, so that's encouraging. You're going to have to be able to run the ball tomorrow. You're going to be able to, be able to run the ball effectively as well. Um, we talked about it briefly Monday, but a Bills, a team that doesn't even run the ball, they just had 182 rushing yards on this defense last week um, with a run play success rate of 62.5%. So that plays to our strength tomorrow. So so go in and, and play to the strength. Uh, talking to Keys earlier, Nick, you just alluded to it too about the two tight end sets. They've looked good the last few weeks with, with Kolar and, and, and likely. So if I'm talking about inserting an all pro, even though he's coming off injury to that to that 12 personnel, I feel encouraged. Um, I, I really do. Um, I don't like you, you tomorrow. You just have to come out. And you have to stop 15. Like you have, you have to, you have to minimize my homes. You have to, you yeah, which is a tall <laughs> test, but you have to keep him off the field. Mm -hmm. You have to keep him off the field with long drives that end in points. Like you can't turn the ball over. You cannot give them a short field tomorrow. It'll be a long day. Um, the matchup I'm really looking at Kelsey Ham Kelsey first uh, Kyle Hamilton. Um, if if Kyle can can play to the to the level he's played at all year and, and and essentially box Kelsey in. This is one of the few years where Mahomes doesn't have very many weapons outside of Rasheed Rice. Um, are we banking on MBS beating us tomorrow? Are we banking on Noah Gray beating us tomorrow? So if 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 you can shut down Kelsey, and I kind of agree with what you were saying, Nick, let, let Pacheco get what he's gonna get if, if that's the case. But you, you cannot give up no chunk plays in the passing game. You cannot let Pat Mahomes get out that pocket tomorrow because when he gets out the pocket and begins to improvise, it becomes a long day for you defensively. Um, so I feel encouraged going into this game tomorrow. I feel like we can go into this game, run the ball, stay ahead of the sticks, and um, I think it's a game we can go into, the, go into tomorrow and cover the four points. Yeah, I agree. Let me take the Chiefs side a little bit. I'm I'm back, god damn it. Uh let's let's stop all this flock shit. <laughs> Look, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to beat y'all. Like y'all broke down the X's and O's perfectly. I'm banking on pedigree. They got championship pedigree, and y'all don't. Mm -hmm. And that shit means a lot. We all know it. We all know it. That shit means a lot. Do I think Lamar Jackson is gonna come in this game and shit the bid? Probably not. But it's 21 other guys out there that I've seen them fall apart against the fucking Steelers. Divisional football. He had to throw it in. He had to yeah, throw it in. I don't in. care. I don't care. Like <laughs> you really are. That back. shit I matters. I'm back. I'm back. I got. I, I got superpowers in my insulin now. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit means something. Fucking Zay Flowers is a rookie, dog. 
He's a rookie. It's I mean, the biggest game of his life. Something, but he's nice too, though. Like he's still he is nice. nice. Nah, I didn't say he was a bum. I didn't say, but this is the so biggest game of Jer- his life. So he had Derek Stingley looking last week. I mean, he was talking about it too. Yeah, he yeah. was talking about it. That was the Texans team. Ding, ding, ding. Good win. <laughs> It was a fucking Texas team. Like, all right, cool. Y'all, y'all shook the cobwebs off. Y'all did not get rid of no playoff demons just beating Houston Texans. I disagree with that, but yeah, nah. I, I just, no, 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 the no, way no, we no. beat them, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was the not, way we beat them. I wish I was here. I wish I was here. <laughs> it was a dominant I I was performance, here. wasn't it? What is CJ Stroud? A fucking rookie at the end of the day. You know what he looked like? He looked like a rookie. You know what hey, D'Amico like Ryan's look like? Hey, look like you know what D'Amico Ryan's look like? A rookie head coach at the end of the day. <laughs> the Browns and, like and, and that's what y'all was supposed to do. Like, y'all was supposed to do that. Like, if it looked any other way, we would have had something to talk about. Y'all did what y'all was supposed to do. This is a different animal. It's a different beast. Y'all are the better team on paper. This is the worst Chiefs offense in the last six years. But I'm banking on pedigree. I'm banking on Andy Reid being a better coach than John Harbaugh in those tight situations where – what decision you going to make right now? Go ahead. Quick, go ahead. quick question to you, Sco. You said Andy Reid, John Harbaugh, the coaching dynamic, and that's actually a good point. Let me ask you this, though, because we saw last week when Sean McDermott faked the punt and the Chiefs got a short field, and instead <laughs> of punching the ball in to go up no, no. multiple scores, he's doing yeah, some got trickery. Cute. Yeah, he got cute. So how does that factor in in your – now, to your point, John is John, but John has been better. John has been he better. Has, that, that he, he had a better performance hey, against you. Hey, Nick, yeah, that's, that's and, and to add to that, remember, that's, that's Andy Reid, though, because remember in that Super Bowl for San Francisco, they did something cute. I don't know. Andy Reid going to get cute. But they, they scored, though. But I don't uh, know if this is the game. Nah. Gonna I think Andy Reid is smart. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All right. I think Andy Reid is smart enough to know against this defense, it ain't, it ain't time to get cute. Don't give it, it to Nicole Hardman. And don't give it to McCole Hardman. I mean, that dude Please fumbled earlier. Him. Feature him. They got they no, got no, a no, 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 they, they really no, no, no. package of plays for him. I'm like, why do you have yeah, a package nah. of plays for him, yo? Yeah, please, no. please, please make they gave him the Kadarius I mean, package. See, I, about, I was about to say that they those are the plays that Kadarius would have had, but <laughs> McCole been there before. Like, you didn't, if I got to pick A or B, I was going to take A, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm banking on that. Look, y'all got every reason to be confident in this game. Every reason. I'm just banking on 15 and Andy. Banking on 15 and Andy. Now, if y'all get to the suit, I'm not gonna come in here and be like, yo, I cannot believe these niggas won. You're gonna be you're gonna be rooting no. for us. No, I'm not. I'm I'm a swifty <laughs> this week. I'm a swifty this week. I'm a swifty this week. I'm a swifty this week. That's it, bro. That's I trouble, hope they keep her trouble, safe. Trouble. I hope they keep her protected. <laughs> you already know it's, it's, keep that white lady untouched and unscathed. What Marlo, what Marlo say? Tell our people it's time to tool up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. So definitely time to tool up. <laughs> it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a close game. I honestly think it's gonna turn into who got the ball last. Who, who who's gonna have the ball last? I hope not. I mean, I, I yeah, I, I agree with you with the pedigree. I just think our defense is here to hills above their defense. I think uh, but I think that's what it'll come down to. I think they're not gonna be able to score as me. I've seen I over the film, I've seen them play good defenses, like you know, the Bronco. We talked the Broncos defense was decent this year. Mm-hmm. Eagles defense before they start doing all this stuff or whatever. Um, they ain't do too much, you know. They ain't they ain't they ain't really do a lot, and it's because they did. That's all he had was. I mean, his third option was goddamn Sky Moore. I mean, and he sucks. Right. He's, 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 look he's not at, playing. He's not even playing tomorrow. So it's like. And again, but to that defense, what, but to that defense though, the receivers have stepped up the last two weeks. I was about to say maybe when I speak on pedigree. Yeah, 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 last, last week was their best offensive production when they needed it by far. That speaks to the pedigree. Like and, when and, it's time and to turn it, it on, I, they turned it on. Right. And that all speaks to Sean, Sean McDermott for blitzing he's him an idiot. damn near fifty percent of the time. I didn't know. Yeah, I, he's, I, I, he, he's crazy. That, yeah, he's he, they should have fired him for real for that. That was that was I mean, a bad coaching job. They answered. I mean, yeah, like the <laughs> fake punt. It was. It was. They Buffalo should have won that game. Like they had it yeah, in their hands yeah, to win that game. Yeah, uh, they left a lot of plays on the field. You can't do that against a Chiefs team. You, you can't do that. So for your guys, your y'all receivers, they can't be in their head. We've seen Mark when them lights come on, get in his head. We we seen it. Nelson Aguilar. I mean, eight drops against Pittsburgh. I'm gonna bring that hey, up again. Hey, listen, listen, Mark. You start that stuff. I'm gonna automatically assume you're Rusty. I'm gonna automatically sit you next to me. If it were me, yeah. 
I, yeah, I've I, seen I like I've Mark seen the like pitch count. I don't even think Mark gonna play a lot tomorrow. What Eagle Dollar say? Come here, man. Come here. Yeah, come here, man. <laughs> don't stop. Gotta do training on KD. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like that Mark back. I like he. You know, he want he. You know, he he, he want to be a part of the team, be a tough guy. But like like we've been saying for the last couple of weeks, man, this team been going with likely. Um, he's been playing lights out. Gotta you go know, die. playing like a number one tight end. Um, Gotta shout go out to White because he called it. God damn, he called it. Yeah, keep keep he him keep it. him keep him. Uh, keep like in there. He's, yeah, I, w- I wouldn't mind seeing him as a decoy. I mean, we gotta remember this is first game in eight nine weeks, right? Mm-hmm. The conditioning might be there, not, might not be there. Whatever he can give us is going to be a plus. Obviously, he's a, he's an all world talent, and he's ain't he's earned his name for a reason. But um, you know. Ways to help the team, he could be a decoy, right? Um, and when he's on the field, you have to account for him, which would mm-hmm. theoretically open it up for other people. I will say though, this Chiefs defense, you know, we rank one, you know, in many different defensive mat- metrics, and in a lot of other defensive metrics, the Chiefs are right behind us. Mm-hmm. So they're not gonna this Chiefs defense is the best defense they've had maybe in the last six years. So mm-hmm. Absolutely, they kind of flipped the the scales a little bit, but they still got that boy number fifteen. So it's going to be a battle, bro. I really, honestly think it, our advantage here is the fact that we can control the clock, the time of possession, seemingly with the run game, and our defense is good enough to force Patrick Mahomes into some stops. Last week, the the, the Chiefs didn't punt until the fourth quarter, like with a couple minutes left. That was the first punt of the game, right? So it was like that is hopefully is not going to be us. If we can get some stops, make some stops here and there and continue to apply pressure. I don't need touchdowns every single drive. I don't. But if we can get points, if we can get some field goals, we can we just just keep adding the, to the tally, man. Cuz listen, and, I don't want no fourth quarter games, go. And, and I don't weather might that. play a part. And weather might play a part, which might lead to y'all side. It might tip the scales on your side as far as having to run the ball, yeah. but Weather, weather tips the scale now advantage, I think, um, the weather, if it plays out that way. Yeah, if they get into the fourth quarter and it's close. One score game in the fourth quarter, I'm nervous. Yeah, and it's close. I'm trying to party. I'm, I'm trying I'm to party in the fourth tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So I'm now Nick, I'm trying to tell Nick, meet me in the concourse. Let's take a shot. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm directing I'm, I'm directing the attention to y'all now. How <laughs> so do y'all feel? Violent if we lose. Yeah. How do I'm, y'all I'm, feel? I mean, how I feel about it is, you know, you of course you wanted to play. You, 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 you maybe wanted Buffalo because, you know, like you said, defensive battle, but – you want you at the end of the day, you want to you, you want to be able to beat the best if you want to be the best. So this is the matchup. I think that you know you salivate this matchup, you go in there, you play well, you beat it. Like you said, I'm confident. I, I think the Ravens are clearly, like you said, outside of 15, which is probably gonna be the biggest factor. The Ravens are clearly the better team. Like they they are we we they've proven that they are the better team. Um, you know, you got home field advantage, so you, you got to take advantage of all, everything that's a positive Ravens. You really had to take advantage of it, this game. And if you if you take advantage of your run game, the, the crowd, the better defense, and you know, limiting it, limiting Kelsey and making him depend on the, you know the weapons that haven't been delivering all season, you should win the game. And there was much to do about the referees and the selection by the NFL. Mm, it was Sean like a Smith. Con- yes, all conspiracy yeah. about that yeah. and the stats. Home, the stats home teams only went. Oh no, they. Clip. Oh, them stats yeah. are there. That's facts. Only around the 40% yeah. Don't yeah. make this a referee game. Like, be on your P's and Q's, oh. please. Oh. And they throw y'all tripping they, they, they if y'all said, don't think said, the NFL won Taylor Swift on uh, Super Bowl right. Sunday. They said, like, they that's said, a fact. Uh, like, it's his business. But, t- but they already got Sean Smith for the most rough in the passive flag. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Usher's uh, for us. <laughs> Okay, I get yeah, you. I get you. What was you saying? Well, let us have something for us. Because, oh, FanDuel. FanDuel. <laughs> Over yeah. under how many appearances that they gonna show her face, dog? It's big money in this. Them prop bets That's gonna go crazy. Do? They trying. Now, it, you think it won't? Yo, last year they had the Gatorade color for what they was gonna drink. Oh, yeah, the they coaches. always gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't think it's gonna be an over under five Taylor Swift appearances, oh my god, big money, big money. Don't, I better not see her swag surfing at MT Bank Stadium, yo. I'm I'm going to be appalled and I'm, and I'm gonna be offended too. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it personally as a as a jab. I'm don't let that. Gonna get, she swags sir. We gonna catch on MLK. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, she got. She gonna have to get home somehow. And you're long way to home. Allegedly, I got the FBI <laughs> with her after the week she done had on Twitter. The FBI is following her. <laughs> what FBI, you, you know, headquarters is here anyway. There you go. <laughs> so quit Jackson, don't come to Baltimore. Stay at home. So this, Jackson. this the worst place for her to come to. Last time Jackson's in Baltimore, he was throwing water on people. 
Yeah, Bring his yeah. ass back. We, we got, We're we, going to be rowdy. This is a different him. setting, bro. And he on the box. He should be on the box. His ass shouldn't even be able to fucking travel. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> he should be on the box. Yeah, keep his ass away, man. Um, Jackson going to be a hand in some way. <laughs> Bell's point yo, trying that shit. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Relax, yo. <laughs> yo, Keith, you gonna make it out alive, though. Keith, Jackson, what was you say yeah, about Sean Smith, it. yo? What was you saying? I was saying, I was saying, he th- he throw like he threw the uh the most rough. He, I think it, yeah, the most rough in the passing calls. He was top five then throwing rough in the pass. You know, and you know Pat Mahomes like the flop in the pocket and shit. Yeah. So you know that it's a fact. I mean, he does. Yeah. I mean, it's the truth. It's a fact. That's some drive yeah. extending shit. We can't. Yeah. Have so that, you just yeah. gotta be smart. You just gotta yeah, be smart. No drive extending. You just gotta be. You just gotta. Be, I think the, the my main key to this game is outside of everything. You gotta be able to keep him in the pocket. Once he get outside the pocket, Obe. He, he, what Obe he, gonna do? Yeah. I mean, Obe got step step up. But I don't think Obe. Gonna, I don't even think Obe gonna play that much on passing downs. I think it's gonna be Van Noy and Clowney. Um, oh, Obe gonna be in the game the first and second down. Who? So yeah. I, it's gonna come down to Clowney and Van Noy, who, who, and you know, I think, and who ha- gonna have the biggest game defensive. I think it's gonna be Big Ninety Two. Um, he's gonna be playing against a backup tack, a backup guard, and I think he's gonna eat him alive. So I, mean, I want, that's what it's gonna come down to. That's a great points, Keys. I want to see Brandon Stevens mm-hmm. match up against Rasheed Rice as well and take mm-hmm. him out the game because if that can happen, that allow Marlon to roam in that slot, and that's where Marlon performs the best when he can play right. inside and use that leverage. That's when he's a, a weapon on our team. And then you have Kyle, and then you can help Kyle. Because if we drop people back in college coverage, we can have Kyle follow Kelsey and then maybe bracket Kelsey with some more help. At that point, you ask an MVS to beat us, Sky Moore. Sky Moore out. So good. That, he's, Watson, out. Yeah, he's, he's out. He's out. So Watson he, he and Noah Gray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It's tough sledding. It's tough sledding, right. but they stepped up last week. That, that, that nigga 15, though. Yeah, he stepped up last good. week, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, good. For sure. For sure. Um, two questions. Score prediction and does this go over? What's the uh over 45 and a half? Y'all putting that on your slip? Yeah, I'm putting that 45 and a half on the slip. I don't know if it's gonna go over. I, it, 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 games like this don't really AFC and the championship games typically don't tend to be over. high scoring. They be it'd be tight, the nerves be there. So I'm gonna go under, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to score um 26, 17 Ravens. Ooh, like okay, that's comfortable. That's comfortable. Yeah, I don't okay. think they. I don't think they. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they score a lot. I just don't think they score a lot. Of Shoot, points. a feather and I cap. Um, as far as like the margin of victories we have, we've had a lot of wins. You know, oh, about yeah, two touchdowns, especially against good mm-hmm. football teams, and that mm-hmm. uh, continued into the playoffs. You know what I mean? So again, rookie team, rookie, rookie uh, first situation, first time in that situation. But you know. Um, Again, when you have a defense that's tops in the league and you have an offense that's top five in the league, and you have a quarterback that's top whatever you want to say, one or two, where you, wherever you want to put them, it gets it gets like that. So mm-hmm. me personally, I will venture the 24-17, 24-20. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as the over, me personally, I'll probably alt spread it, bring it down a little bit um, just to be safe. But at the same token, 45, that seems attainable. It will be raining, but it's not going to be heavy rain. It's not going to be a downpour. So I think the passing game is not going to be affected, but so much. It's really going to come down to how the how the defenses stand up to the offenses. But again, it's 15 to 8. It's going to be a mm-hmm. tall task. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To answer your question over under, um, I took the over under after 51 and a half. Took the under. Ooh, um, he, he getting paid this week. Yeah, he's trying to get paid this week. I feel him. Oh, yeah. But score prediction I like the Ravens to win this game tomorrow. So I think it'll be 24 to 24 to 17. Um, Mm. is what I'm gonna go with. Um, I just uh, 15, I I didn't seen it too many times, like outside of Tom Brady and the anomaly here with that guy in Cincinnati. Um, he's been unbeatable. But he ain't seen eight in this situation. Um, he hasn't been in the bank in this situation. And so I'm banking on the bank tomorrow just being lit, being a different uh, 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 otherworldly experience, essentially. Like, it's, it's going to be like, it's going to be fire in there tomorrow. And um, it's going to be loud. And if, if you can come out early, hit them, get a couple stops, and you get some points, it's going to be up for us, man. So I, I like the Ravens to win this game by a touchdown tomorrow. I think we do cover the four points. I really did. All right. 
26 21 Chiefs. Oh, shit. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. All right, let's get to the NFC side. Let's get to the NFC side. We got we got the Lions traveling to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. 49ers are a seven point favorite. That's a lot. I, I, that's, that's that a is lot a lot. That so, is a touchdown a favorite is a lot, especially especially you know with, how they played with, last week too. And then with that's Debo, he's playing, yeah. but is he really going to play? I mean, I like the confidence he's talking with, but his shoulder still cracked up. Like, I don't care what they say. Um, I mean, <laughs> okay, so we can we can break down the game. I'm I'm taking I'm just, I'm taking the Lions early. I don't believe in Brock, Brock Purdy. Um, I think he's been playing, you know, hasn't been playing as well as he can play. I think the Lions are way too explosive offensively. Um, I think they're way, way, way too explosive offensively. Um, yeah, I, I think Dan Campbell going to gonna have them boys ready to play. It just, it, I mean, it, all, it depends on if the Lions can just show up a little, you know, show, show up a little bit defensively. We know how bad they've been all year defensively, um, but in the playoffs, they've been playing a little bit better defensively. They, you know, they're turning the ball over, getting the ball. Um, so it's going to depend on what, what type of defense they show. But I do like the Lions in this game. Um, I, I just think only think the 49ers, as great as they've been, as good as they are, I think they peaked early. I think they peaked early this year. I, don't, I, I still don't think they've been the same since that Ravens game. Fair enough. I got the 49ers, um, mainly because the Lions are on the road. They don't have the advantage of playing in that dome this week, and that's where they've historically, and especially this season, have received their superpowers. I saw them get blown out on the road, so mm -hmm. I don't. You're not, not you, but like any, you know, I right. can't, I can't really put that much respect on them until they do it. Now, when they do it, I'll come in here and say, you know what, they showed me something, but. Um, I definitely think that they're they're haveable in the secondary. I think Brock Purdy in this matchup, I think he'll 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 bounce back. Um, the worry was is Debo going to play or not? And to Key's point, could he be um, could he be hampered by the shoulder injury? Those type of things just don't go away. Um, yes, he's talking tough, but who's going to say, yeah, my shoulder hurts? Come hit me in it. Right. No, you're right, going right, right. to say, yeah, I'm good, right? So. In this sense, uh, the Lions have surrendered. Uh, uh, I th what's the stat? Thirty NFL teams didn't allow five 140-yard performances by a wide receiver during a 17-game regular season. And it was getting cooked. The Lions have surrendered yeah. that many since Christmas <laughs> Eve. Yeah, God damn. Since yeah. Christmas Eve. I mean, that's only what three games. <laughs> yeah, three four. Games. So we talking about Kittle. We talking about Brandon Ayuk. We talking about Debo Samuel. Um. We're talking about Christian McCaffrey. You know what I mean? So the weapons are there. Um, if 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 they can keep Brock Purdy upright, now the right side of that line is is the question. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's where Aiden Hutchison is. And you know, he's as advertised. So if he can put pressure on Brock Purdy's face and get him off schedule, see Brock Purdy is a timing quarterback. When the timing is there, he gets the ball out quick. It's very hard to stop that. Teams like the Ravens disrupted that timing. Will this Lions team be able to disrupt that time and, and have the coverage necessary in the secondary to, to capitalize as well? Um, it's a lot to ask for. Asking Jared Goff to go on the West Coast, play on the road, and perform the way he's been performing. I'm not going to say it's a tall task. We just would like to see it. Um, they have a lot of young players on that side of the ball, too. You got Laporta, who I love. You have Jameer Gibbs, who I love, but they're rookies. Um it's it's it is rookies versus vets in this situation. We will see Dan Campbell uh, ex uh, experienced at this point, but still a young head coach as far as tenure in the league. Kyle Shanahan, he's been in Super Bowls. He's been in NFC championships. He's kind of seasoned in that regard. I think he's going to come with a game plan. It's really just going to come to execution. Do I think that Kyle Shanahan is going to allow the Lions to stop him from getting into another Super Bowl, I don't. Yeah, for me, the key to the game, if the Lions have any chance, they got to get pressure on Purdy. Mm -hmm. um, you saw it in our game when we blitzed Purdy. Though he was on, he was four and nine when we blitzed him on passes, and he threw NSA, he threw two interceptions. So they got to get they got to get pressure on him. The beauty in that though, they register in the fifth highest pressure rate at forty one percent. So they have the ability to get to the quarterback, but. Can you? The question for me with the Lions becomes the Lions haven't played an outdoor game since they played us in Baltimore. They played every game in a dome or some since since October. They haven't been outside. Now, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow in San Francisco? I'm not too sure. 
but you've got to be able to come out tomorrow and be the lines. You got to be able to establish the run. You got to be able to essentially control the clock. Like you got to keep that offense off the field because that offense against that line secondary, it could be a long day for Aaron Glenn in that secondary. So Aiden Hutchinson, they got it. He's got to get pressure. Um, you, we don't know what Debo's going to look like, but if you can get Purdy in some second and third and longs, um, it could be a long day. Which one of these like- quarterbacks is going to make the mistake? I think that's what this comes down to. Uh, Green Bay couldn't capitalize on Brock Purdy's three mistakes. Um, they, I know the Green Bay Packers fans still should be mad about that game. Like, yeah, uh, uh, but the one thing Green Bay showed is you, you, you can, yeah, this football. Um, you can run on on this San Francisco on this San Francisco team. I mean, you can do Aaron, anything. Aaron, with San Aaron Jones look like fucking Lamar Green out there, right? Yeah, so you, you can do anything. I just don't know if the. I mean, you, we talking about Lafleur, and then we talking about Ben Johnson. That's that's two different pedigrees. Like Lafleur knew what to do when draw it up. Nigga. I don't know if Ben Johnson. Um, yeah, I mean the way I mean the golf has been playing better since I think Purdy makes the, the mistake. I think Purdy has been begging to make some mistakes. People just haven't taken advantage of them. Um, but like back to my point about the Lions' weapons, uh, San Francisco got just, got just as many weapons also. Um, so it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great game. But I I think Purdy makes the first mistake. I want Detroit to go, but I think San Francisco's gonna win this game. High scoring, high scoring game. Mm-hmm. And I think script wise, if I'm just uh, yeah, logo. conspiracy stuff, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that logo was that logo. Lo- that, yeah, <laughs> that's true. But a Ravens 49ers rematch kind of be dope. That's Maybe money. from my from my bias point of view. But listen, I I do not want to see Detroit. Okay, I, I don't. I don't want to see Eminem. I don't want to see Royce the Five Nine. I mean, okay. maybe setting up, maybe that's why I should have halftime. Maybe this is the, the nigga bowl, Nick. You got Baltimore, <laughs> Baltimore, Detroit. Baltimore. You got Usher at halftime. Like battle, it's, of it's just, battle of the buffs. Battle of the buffs and minks. Players ball, yo. Like it's, yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, boy. Where's T Grizzly from? Is he is he Detroit too? Yeah, T Grizzly. Yeah, Detroit. He's gonna, have, yeah. he gonna have T Grizzly up in there. <laughs> I got tech. Oh, got bring Moose where out. The, where them people from? Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. them TV movie people? <laughs> call me, call me Gravy. Patrick. Yeah, got bring Gravy <laughs> no. out. He an honorary Detroit guy. Where's no. Gravy? Yeah, call me Kilpatrick. The the battle former mate. I tell you, Vegas, <laughs> Vegas, Vegas does not want Detroit niggas and Baltimore niggas conjugating <laughs> on their streets. God damn, nah, and that's a lot of a lot a lot of niggotry. <laughs> they do not want that shit. I tell you that niggas. right now. They don't want that, bro. <laughs> Vegas already don't like black people, so <laughs> hey man, <laughs> they can't. They... <laughs> So they want Kansas City and San Francisco for sure. Pretty much. That, that's what they, that <laughs> that. that's what they did. They definitely want San Francisco. You know how they nah, that ain't nice some old shit. You know, Mac, you know, Mac Dre from the bank got killed in Kansas City. I'm gonna give y'all some history. You know? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, Bring back Larry no, seriously though. This tale, <laughs> this tale yeah, but, stuff has, has 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 run its course, man. NFL don't need no more. Who you don't need Taylor Swift to sell a Super Bowl. Super Bowl, that's sold. Sell us brick sell itself. Yeah, you the brick I mean? sell itself. Yeah, right. you don't need a white girl to sell the brick. Now, this game See might be the highest rated championship mm. game we've ever seen, right? Yeah. But come Super Bowl time, we talking about the, the storyline. Can Lamar win his first? Can Detroit win for the first time in, I don't know, is it in their history or first time in can years? Kyle yeah, history. Yeah, yeah, history. Can Kyle get over Kyle the hurdle? Can Kyle, Kyle finally There's do so it? so many yeah. storylines. You really don't need Taylor Spell at, I mean, Taylor to, um, <laughs> to, to assist him. <laughs> yeah. Because as good as the, as good as the coach as Kyle Shanahan is, he got to stay out his own way tomorrow. Like you saw the way he ended that first half last week Run. against Green Bay. Like you, you yeah, that you, was terrible. You, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> not in terrible. this game. Not against Dan Campbell. It, it may be fourth and not. Dan Campbell gonna put all the clips in in tomorrow. He Man, gonna empty the clip there. tomorrow. Hell yeah. What? He's going to empty the fake play. He's going to be fourth fake, and fake seven. Punts. Going for it on fourth and 13 on his 12. He's going to look like a bad game tomorrow with Dan Campbell. And, and Kyle Shanahan going to have to adjust the court. Kyle, run the ball. Yeah, you got Christian McCaffrey. Run the f- if you get up two scores, don't try to make Brock Purdy look like a hero. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Learn from your mistakes. Run the ball. You you got that guy. Run the fucking ball. But I think this is gonna be a high scoring game. I think this is gonna be a high scoring game. I got I got San Francisco winning 36 31. Ooh. 
That's going to, yeah, give me, give me the, give me the Lions, uh, 34, 30. Okay. I like, I like the 49ers, 28, 24. Yeah, I like the Lions, and I'm not the Lions, I'm sorry, I like the 49ers in this game tomorrow. Give me them 34 to 20. 34 20 34 20. I, I, right. I know what golf looked like outside. I've seen that in person. I don't, you know. <laughs> they really was talking, he was getting they was getting talked up versus us, and I'm like, yeah. This is this is them. Yeah. Unless, like, unless they got some game plan, but he's gonna come in tomorrow, make some, some control, wow. short, yeah. intermediate throws, and like he just don't jerry golf tomorrow, then they got a chance. But he gonna jerry golf, uh, ain't got yeah. But he got so many, like they got so many weapons that San Francisco got to account for. Mm-hmm. Amon St. Brown, Raymond been coming up on the outside. Jamison Williams been stepping up as of late. Josh Reynolds, I'm about to say Josh Reynolds, Reynolds yeah, just Reynolds. sneaky in the so, slot. Yeah. Like they got weapons for days. And I think it was a 49ers DB who said that. He was like, yo, they got a lot of weapons. So we're going to have to no count for each and every one of them. So yeah. yeah look forward, I don't know. I mean, he might be Drake talking to you. Uh, Fred Warner. Knee, look forward to knee better now, too. Is yeah. after the, you the know, problem is that defense now. can't stop a nosebleed. Yeah, because Sutton, Evan, Mike Evans was tearing Sutton up. He, he was eating him alive. So just imagine what, what uh, how yeah, you I know what that looked like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, that's a Cam Sutton. I know right there. <laughs> he was all kind of catches. I mean, it was a two play stretch. Like, God damn, Cam. It could get it could get spooky for each team, but the yeah, the, the, the key is going to be quarterback play within themselves. Don't 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 don't. Don't be trying to be Superman out there, or it, it could get spooky for either one. For either one, and for the other defense, if they do give you a chance to make, uh, you got to capitalize. Got to capitalize because can't be dropping two interceptions, pick sixes. Nah, that. pick sixes <laughs> cannot drop no pick. You cannot drop no pick sixes mm-hmm. in any the, championship games like that. Gonna come nah, back. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to Jordan Love though. Um, we gonna go to the first commercial break. Eddie Gray. This ad is brought to you by Lavelle Body. Lavelle Body is an all-natural, handmade skin and hair care line for men, women, and children. So if your skin is dry, your hair is damaged, or your beard is having problems connecting, shop Lavelle Body today at LavelleBody.com or DM Lavelle Body LLC on Instagram. Again, that's LavelleBody.com or DM Lavelle Body LLC. Speak on this private. We can do a little freestyle. What happened to you, real quick? Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. The fuck happened to you? Hey, baseball Hall of Fame. Baseball Hall of Fame. Hey, 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 boy. What happened to that boy? Who you ain't like? Who you ain't like? Get, it's ain't never like. been a fucking time in my life that I looked at Todd Helton and said that he was the best first baseman. Period. Nah, Ever. 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 I'm cool with Adrian Beltre. I'm cool with Joe Mauer. Who? Adrian Belt. Adrian Beltre and Joe Mauer. Hey, no, Adrian Bo- 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 with? Todd Helton. Oh, Todd Helton. Oh, okay. Todd Helton. <laughs> it's never been a point in my life where I say, yo, he's a better baseball player than Gary Sheffield. Yeah. I, don't I don't think Todd Helton the Hall of Fame either. I, 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 I ain't going to hold He's you. very good. He was very good. But come on, yo. 369 home runs. What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? And at a later date, we can got, talk about this three, more. Three but, gold gloves. Three. All-star, yeah, like he ain't. Three. Like, that's a very good career. That's a very good career. But what the fuck are we talking about? Todd Helton? Played in that ball. Like, played like, with a ball and he played at Coors Field. Like, yeah, come on. Boy. He played Coors Field. Yes, that's inflated. You play at Coors. Come on. Come on. Come on, yo. Stop it. Stop it. Keys, who you got? I'm gonna give him a, a pre. I'm gonna give NFL officiating a pre. What happened to you? Already predict. Yeah, uh, I, I see some bullshit happening. What happened to that boy? Put him on notice. What happened? See what you're doing? Hedging that bet. Hedging that bet. You're getting ready for Monday. I like I'm it. About, I'm talking about both games though. I ain't even talking about <laughs> oh, okay, that ball, okay, I just don't okay. want. I, these type of games we've seen in the past. We've seen in the playoffs. This season, I feel like. This, I mean, you can say this about any season, but I feel like this season, I, too many games have been signed about officiating this season. Like it's been really bad this year. It was horrible. Yeah, they've had a little main character syndrome. Yeah, so I, I just don't. Sure. Know. I mean, let, let let the players decide. Let the players decide on the field. And I mean, and at the end of the day, if it is a penalty, don't just hold. Don't don't swallow your whistle. Either. Call it. You know, call it like it's supposed to be called. Um, but yeah, I'm, just let let the players decide on the field. They 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 earned the right to be here. Um, let let them play. Let them let them earn it on the field. Nick, who you got? I got Adrian Griffin. 
<laughs> what happened to that boy? Uh, what happened to that boy? We really don't know what happened to that boy. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if it was Giannis. Then I saw a bunch of nasty allegations. I, I don't know what happened, but the allegations didn't mean shit with the first 30 wins. What's that? What was the allegations? He, he, he got some nasty. He got some shit. You talking about from, I, his, from I, his, some Twitter his, shit. Some baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, 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 yeah. He wild boy, wild nasty boy, allegedly, because I don't know. I ain't never heard of it, but. It, it all came out after he got fired. For being a head coach, though, right? Like, what, I mean, what's he doing? Like, not in the league that's letting uh fucking Josh Kitty. Who? <laughs> I don't know. He was he was getting down like that. It was it was wild. It was it was a wild story. It, it was, was wild, wild story. story. Send me the link. I gotta read that. But um, even after the firing, the next day, the next game, pre-game, the Bucks were just. <laughs> Doing dancing. Rain dance. <laughs> like damn, like hated that nigga. <laughs> dancing on his grave. Like what's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. But like, I, like I, I, not now. Giannis like pretty I, good. I say that he pretty yeah. good. Like, but like I told people though, they got they got, got they, they done in the East now. It's over. They done. <laughs> <laughs> they it's like they had they eye on him too. They had they eye on Doc. They ain't winning with Doc. They ain't get past second round with Doc. It's over. They done. Hold on. So what happened? Also, what happened to you? What happened to Giannis's fake humble act? <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's been that's, been that's, that's been gone. That was gone at that. That, that, that was gone in Philly with the ladder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was gone with Philly with the. I'm yeah, shooting. Yeah, Oliver stole his basketball. It was over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that nigga ain't never scored thirty <laughs> points before. Like, when he do it, Kyrie in the playoffs. I was like, oh, he he's a different type of competitor. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not the he's not the nice guy everybody thinks he is. Yeah, he. Nah, any I'm, means I'm not mad at it by any means. That motherfucker crazy. You got to go. You got to go. Keith, who you got? Um, what happened to the NBA? Sure. Mm, yeah, sure. Dog. What happened to that boy? I mean, you got what happened to that boy? What you had four different performances, just four or five performances of sixty plus this week in a week. Like, like in a week. Like that used to be yeah. like yeah. people was barely getting fifty. Like back in the yeah. day. Yeah, niggas yeah. scored fifty. Yeah. That was like yeah. yeah, like you talking right. about niggas now and. Luca went crazy last night. Like that was an efficient. That was about efficient of a seventy something that I didn't see. But the defense is just these niggas just getting free runs at layups. Like they, it looked like it looked like the Brunson of the the Drew League. Yeah. Like niggas <laughs> are just out there playing pickup. It looked like the JCC. Yeah. <laughs> this is going up and down, up and down, up and down. I, I agree, and, and we've made this point before as far as like point totals and scoring, like everybody's averaging 25 plus, like it never used to be like that. The average of 25 used to be a feat. Now it's just like, yo, you ain't averaging 25. It's it's mm-hmm. a little nasty out here, but I will say these outbursts were connected to Kobe Bryant. These, these last four, all of them were connected to Kobe Bryant, whether it was um, the anniversary of his 81 point game or the anniversary of his passing. So mm-hmm. just, just going to throw that out there. But regardless of all that, like, We've seen the trend of the NBA. Nobody's playing defense. Everything is run and jump. Everything is hoist up a three. You know what I mean? And it's getting to the point where Pop is talking. You know, Nick Van Axel uh, commented on Twitter, you know, this week when he was talking about, like, just how the game is different. Like, yeah, it's it's more skill, but but not so much at the same time because skill is versatile. It's not just how far you can shoot. It's how you can think. And strategize and play against the defense. How you can move without the ball. How you can screen. How you can like he, like Pop was in there saying the, these kids don't even know how to screen. Like yeah, Antoine James it, said the same shit. Antoine James said the same. Yeah, shit. it's like yo, they teaching them how to set I mean, proper it's, it's, regular it's, it's, it's started, ass screens. It started at the high school level though. We, yeah, it's about high school. Yeah. They, don't, they, don't, they don't even run screen sets in high school no more. Like it's all they don't open, even run like, sets in high school no more. All one on one is all you know. Last second of the clock, you 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 give the ball to your best player, or not even sometimes don't be your best player, but they go one on one, get a dumb shot. You know, it, it's just it's start it's starting early now. It's definitely starting early. I thought like the Mount St. Joe's and maybe a couple other handful of schools, like most of these schools is running ISO based sets. Nobody really getting in the motion sets anymore, setting picks, back dooring. Like it's just mm-hmm. let's go up beaters, and down. It's mano and mano. Yeah, niggas can't even beat a zone no more. Oh, zone beaters. Like when you put a two three zone. You really gonna you gonna put yeah, us in a two three zone yeah. to shoot you out of it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Shoot you right yep. out the zone. 
This can't even. It ain't no zone beaters no more. Like it's basketball yeah, going downhill. Every, everything a flex at the layup. Like I'm watching kids playing high school. Like everything's a flex. Everything's a highlight. Like y'all niggas lost last night. Why are you posting highlights? Uh, no. Don't get me started. I don't care. You had a dunk on somebody last night. Y'all lost by ten. Win the game. Then post a the highlight. I dropped thirty though. That's the problem. I won. <laughs> I, won. I dropped thirty though. <laughs> That's exactly the mindset too. That's exactly yeah, the mindset. Yeah, I dropped thirty. That's, the That's crazy. What that boss? What that boss school look like? Oh, all right. What that boss school look like? What my man do against me? Yeah, and and yeah, but okay. but this has been a, a a trend that's only gotten worse. I mean, years ago, Kobe was talking about AAU and kind of why he was getting into the basketball enrichment field, why he was pulling young girls and young boys into his Mamba Academy and trying to teach them the fundamentals because he felt like, you know, people overseas, there's a reason why people overseas are coming over and dominating this easy-ass league, and there's a reason why people like – Jokic and Donkic, Donkic say, I came to the NBA and it was easier to score. Yo, mm-hmm. look, look at Albert Sagan. He don't do nothing out the out the <laughs> ordinary. Albert Sagan just uh footwork, pump yep. fake footwork, one bounce, do it like lay up, like both hands. Like he, he's not doing nothing out the ordinary. He's just playing. He's a fundamentally sound basketball player. We definitely got to get back to that because once you start. Uh, re uh, instituting the fundamentals and and the thinking of the basketball game, and you mix that with our athleticism and our mm-hmm. ability to be stronger and run faster. That's when the shit gets scary, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know how long that's going to take because I mean it's a whole new crop of. You don't really have basketball savants like Kobe and, Le- and LeBron and how they think about the game, like how you can listen to Gilbert Kevin talk Durant. about the game. Kevin Durant's like Steph Curry's. It's yeah, I mean, you really like three to five years. You really like three years away from who really going to take the mantle of this league. Like what direction is this league going going? Because who, who's the next crop of stars out? Because once KD and Steph, they got another three years at a high level, probably. Um, and then it's what's what's the Anthony Edwards going to do? The Jason Tatum's. I mean, it's. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm, I love Jason Tatum. I'm not a bad shot. I'm not a Yeah, it's yeah, getting spooky. It's getting spooky. Yeah, I'm not a character. But this is this is chicks dig the long ball. This is what Adam Silver wanted. He thinks this is an evolution of the game, and it's kind of. You know, people like watching defense too. Now, don't don't get me wrong. You know, I like the I when Steph started. See, that's the thing that messed up basketball, and it's not Steph's fault. But everybody can't be Steph. Everybody can't be the Warriors. Back in the day, the Warriors and Steph would be their standalone mm-hmm. type of offense, standalone type of team, and you would have to combat them every time you play them. But you would play your style of basketball. Now is hmm, how can I mock or copy them? Mocking and copying go. I mean, everybody's doing it, but god damn, mm-hmm. can we can, oh, can we have some <laughs> individual? I mean, yo, can we have some? Yo, they had uh, Melo apologizing for taking mid range shots when he was in Houston, <laughs> literally saying, Yo, my they made they it. Yo, my fault, yo. Yo. <laughs> about Let you know you can't, can't no about that. You can't step out and hit a three. The Rosen killing you from the midi, like he. <laughs> Killing you yeah. for the midi, and they talking about you can't step out at three. Like it got forty from shooting twos, and it's the same with football. Like you know how mm-hmm. they institute all the rules to where you can't hit uh, in certain areas, defenseless receivers, roughing the passer. All this stuff is meant to just increase scoring and increase the offensive output. Chicks dig the long ball, but again, the purity of the sport is getting lost in all this. Yeah. You lucky, you lucky. I like. Your football's just lit. I'm sorry. I mean, right, yeah, 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 yeah. If it's yeah, 40 to 41, stop. I mean, yeah, fuck yeah. it. I'll never I'm stop at, watching at, football. Yeah. I meant to ask that Monday. That's but basketball, it's a tough watch right now. I meant to ask that Monday, but what y'all think about that touchback rule and them potentially changing it to, I mean, I don't know what they're going to change it to, but it won't be the defense getting the ball with a touchback. And it, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of in favor of the rule, per, like me personally. Yeah. I don't I don't mind the rule because if you get all the way down to the goal line, like all, all the yeah. offense got to do now is just get the ball across the line. Your whole body don't even got to get in the end zone. So if yeah, I knock the ball the out and they go out the end zone, let me be rewarded. But yeah, hold on to the uh, ball. Bro. I think that played <laughs> to what Nick just say. Like they really trying to mm-hmm. everything getting dumbed down to an extent. Like you, you, you losing the recipe. Yeah, it all. I, I mean, I'm, 
Yeah, I definitely in favor of the I just don't, I mean, depending on it got, I don't I don't know what the alternative would be. Like, do you take them back to the 40 yard line to the 35 yard line, or is it an automatic field goal from now they gotta kick a field goal? It's fourth down automatically, and you gotta kick a Somebody field goal. Somebody was saying the boss could go out to the 20 for them and they gotta play it first and goal from the 20. That's still an unfair advantage to the defense, though. Like that, I mean, you yeah, can't, I, I don't, I don't like. Yeah, that. if you get the ball back to the offense, take them out yeah. the red zone. Take them out the red zone, but also it, it should make it a third or fourth down where they the only thing they can do is and lose a down. Oh, yeah. and, and and lose a down. You yeah. can't. You can't. Yeah, I see it can't. both ways, but I I, I see yeah. it both ways only just because if I'm reaching out for the goal line, did you really cause That's me to true. fumble? Yeah. Like, I did That's that, true. homie. But at the same token, a fumble is a fumble, right? So, right. I'm, and, and and at the same token, you don't want to keep giving advantages to the offense. But my God, if if I'm diving and the ball just slips out my hand and now it goes into the end zone as a touchback, like Jesus, like yeah, y'all didn't stop lit. this. I stopped I, I just gotta, I just I gotta break the green. plane. I just gotta break the plane. I just gotta the touch the pylon. So yeah, like, maybe some magic. I'm trying to like, get a touchdown. Get, maybe they can. Yeah. Also, like if, you, if if it's called if it's a cause fumble, it goes to defense. But if you just drop the ball, nobody touched you. Maybe it'll go. It it, it definitely. Yeah. Can that's leaving ball. too but much for them refs. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. leaving too much to them refs that suck right. already. Yeah. Right. Because like I played with Benico Harmon last week. Like, what's the call? Because it, to me, it looked like they jarred it. But to mm-hmm. somebody else, it might look like he just lost the ball out the back of the end zone. So. Leaving that up to them. Yeah, just leave it, 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 it out. Just, just, just leave it the same. Just leave it the same. No more judgment make a calls for these decision. refs. You got to make a decision. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it worth reaching out? Because you have the risk and you have the reward. Is it is it worth it? Or should I? Or, or if it's third down, maybe. If it's fourth down, maybe. But if it's first down, did you need to do that? Yeah, we got three so, more. You just got to weigh it. We good. I enjoy being back, fellas. I enjoy being back. Can't yeah, for sure. Can't this, seen four yeah, this, people this on the great. screen again. We've been this doing three way for well, three people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. It's been crazy. I was the part of it. I had my boy Damon. I had for a minute. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was that was real. Good. But nah, man, this, this 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 was great. This was great. I can't wait till Monday to see y'all faces. If everything goes my way, so you know, so you, but the thing about it is, you, 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 I got COVID. Teams, you know, Dan will ain't winning this game. You know that. Like you, you know that. You know the Ravens are clear the better team right now. You know that. They are, but yo, you know what this remind me of? Yes, and uh, Dave was doing the whole comparison with uh, Josh and Peyton. I mean, Josh and and uh, Patrick being Peyton and Tom. I actually look at it like Lamar and Pat uh-huh. being that comparison but and this team why. specifically because how many times were those coach teams on paper better than the Patriots a lot and but you know why that and I'm not defending the I, first of all everybody doesn't need to be compared to everybody. yeah 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 can I hate just, it I hate can it. we just allow people to just yeah. live in their greatness and yeah, stop Josh comparing is Josh. Them to everybody yeah. else like yeah, Josh Jesus is Christ. Josh Pat is Pat Lamar is Lamar like they don't need yeah. to have a, a a doppelganger but anyway um the only reason they probably were saying that because they had playoff. Oh, that that robbery, that back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like that. They've been playing each other in the playoffs damn near every year. This yeah. Pat um, Lamar rivalry. I don't know if this was a this regular season. Was regular yeah, yeah. season. This yeah, is the first time season. they kind of matching up and squaring off. And thankfully, it's in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like when I look at the teams, I'm looking at this this Ravens teams being equated to the to the Colts. They got the talent. And that 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 Patriots team was just tough, gritty, with the experience of winning. So that's what again, that's what I'm banking on. Can't wait till Monday. Can't wait till Monday. I hope windows are being stared out of. Be, ca- be careful. Be careful what you wish for, Scott. Oh no, I'm good. I'm I'm, I'm good. Cause guess what? My team wasn't good enough to oh, even got, be here. Okay. Like I, <laughs> who you who you? I, I heard they, they they had Zach Robinson and ah. uh, um who I forgot who else the three Gerard like, Ger- Gerard. I'm, I'm, I'm Gerard Johnson. Somebody, uh, I'm, and, and they said they said Bobby was, that he was like unrealistic to get the job. You want that? I mean, he from that tree. Everybody that we've been talking to has been from that tree. It's mm-hmm. on purpose. Everybody has been from that McVeigh Shannon hand tree. I like Zach. I, I, I like Zach. What what he's able to do. I just I ain't gonna lie to you. I just like the fact that it's out because I've been saying that what I say all year. Yo, it cannot be in house. So the fact that that was the first thing Tomlin said, I, I I like that because you yo it's a pivot. You see Lamar, you see Pat, you see Josh, you see Joe. 
You see to you see these guys. You have to be able to compete with them. And you ain't doing it in house. The scheme is not in house. So the fact that they see it and are going to change that, I like that. Perfect scenario. I would like it to be Zach, but his man's just got hired in Atlanta. Salute to Raheem. Yeah, I think I think that's where you're gonna end up. And that's an easy connection. That's an easy connection. So I don't know where we're going, but I just like the fact that it's not in house. Because if it Bring was, I'm, I'm telling you, this, ba- this back screen of mine would have been Jackson Holiday all fucking year. I'm telling you. <laughs> Bring it be enemy. Why not? Why not? Why not hire be enemy? Only thing I don't like is that Art is going to be heavily involved in this, and I don't like the way that he treats his pocketbook. He's a little stingy <laughs> with the pocketbook. So when you say Eric be enemy, you had to pay for one of these guys. Mm-hmm. You gonna have to pay. You can't be cheap. You can't be cheap. This scheme is expensive. <laughs> This I, game I is expensive. One, I, I hope one day we get a, a, a art the enemy book though. Cause I gotta find out why he why people don't want him as a head coach. I gotta I need to know at this point. Yeah, I'm <laughs> shocked that it was all these lateral moves that they talking about. Every move for him has been lateral. Like, all right, they're gonna clean house in DC. I get it. You know, you want to bring your own people, but he ain't even been linked to a job. It's all OC mm-hmm. for selfish reasons. I would love it. I I I would love it, but we need a quarterback first. Need a quarterback first, Mason. Court. You already huh? giving up on free Mason. You already giving up on your boy Mason already. Come on, yo. We ain't... He played decent in the playoff game. Yo. He, he did. He he, he did. He he got hot towards <laughs> the end, right? For what it's worth. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? I love it. Yo, Mason, go be Josh. Mason, go be Pat. Mason, go be Lamar. You have crazy that sounds. Yeah, I mean, what about I would have liked my chances against y'all, though. I would have loved my chances against y'all just off the history. I would have loved it. You would have loved it. I would have loved it. We'd have beat y'all. We'd have beat y'all. I tell you, if we would have, if we would have beat Buffalo, I would have FaceTime from the hospital. Dead ass. Dead ass. I be in. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, looking like Terrence Howard. I would have been in that hospital bed talking crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. I told you if y'all. we would have won. I told you. I told y'all. Eight out of nine. Eight out of nine. No I mean, backups. I, listen, I, I, I don't know ready. how. I don't know how the end result. They probably beat y'all because they was a better team, better quarterback play. But I, they, I think would have been a good, a better game if pickers ain't fumbling that football. Like it would have been. It, it'd be, y'all was y'all was starting to learn, learn, move the ball. That was you know. Yeah, that zero was way different than seven to three or seven to seven. Seven to three. <laughs> but the fact, yo, yo, <laughs> it was a one score game in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's crazy. We wasn't even supposed to be there. So, but man, this was great. Let's go to the last commercial break and wrap up. Salute to Mason, man. Free Mason jaw, man. Free Mason jaw. <laughs> my, my man, Mason jaw. Where's my ad? Brand activations, business openings, recently engaged or any new life event that deserves a celebration. Start planning with Penn Jones Events. Owner and principal planner Paige guarantees a fun and stress free planning experience. Managing every event aspect, including budgets, timelines, vendor negotiations, event design, and more. Penn Jones Events is a full-service wedding and event planning company based in Maryland. We curate extraordinary events tailored to you. Let's start planning today. For a free 30-minute consultation, visit ppjevents.com. Good show, fellas. Good show. Good show. With all seriousness, good luck to y'all. Good, good luck. Um... AFC championships are not easy to make. So so good luck to y'all. Um appreciate everybody that listens live, everybody that checks out the podcast. If you view us on YouTube, we appreciate you. Keep liking, viewing, rating, subscribing, and all that good shit. We'll be back on Monday. Either three people gonna be happy or that one stale gonna be happy. Tune in next on uh Dragon Ball Z. We out. Hey, you.